Hey everybody, this is Dream, and today I'm going to be talking about Clea. Clea is developed, developed and published by Invert Mouse. Clea is $12.99 on Xbox, and it came out today, 10-23-2020. Clea is a side-scrolling horror stealth game where you need to sneak around a mansion and find items that help you escape while avoiding chaos servants who are on the hunt to find you. The art style on this has an anime feel, um, so if you're into that kind of style, then you're going to like this. Um, there are no jump scares, uh, the developers made a very, uh, big note of that in the information so that, uh, let us know to tell you guys that there are no jump scares in case you're worried about those types of things. You know, a lot of horror games, there are jump scares, and so, not in this one. Um, you just need to be mindful of what's nearby and hide whenever you find a servant coming near you. Uh, it's fairly easy to do, there's plenty of places to hide in the game. So I do like stealth games. Uh, I'm not a whole big fan of survival horror games generally, but I did like this game. Uh, I, it's, it has a side-scrolling aspect, which is makes it a little less daunting than normal survival horror games, and it's um, so I kind of I enjoyed it. It's definitely not probably made for somebody with my taste. Uh, like I'm not into anime, and like I said, I'm not a big fan of horror uh, survival horror games, but. Uh, I think this is well done and well made, and you do feel like you succeed uh, when you complete uh, or get through areas that are kind of puzzle-like. Um, some of the areas are pretty challenging. It's definitely not uh, something you're just going to be able to do without thinking, unless you have a guide. Um, also note that how you play determines ending. Uh, there are multiple endings, and depending on how you play is going to determine which ending you'll get. I do plan on going back and playing it multiple times for other endings. Um, you can also unlock harder difficulties after completing your first playthrough. Um, overall, I'm going to give this game a 7 out of 10. Um, this game has been available on Steam for over a year, so there was some information about like how to progress through the game, but not a ton, actually. Um, if you're into stealth survival type games or you like anime style games, you're, you will like this. Uh, the price isn't bad either at twelve ninety nine, so I'm, like I said, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. Um, as for the achievements, it's a pretty doable list. Uh, you can find a, if, if you can find a guide, it'll go a lot faster probably. But uh, right now, like, I think it took me about 3 hours, because I was being slow and cautious and looking around for things, to complete the first playthrough and figure out some of the puzzles. Um, but it's not a, that long of a game, so you're going to... Uh, be able to complete it pretty easily uh, once you know what you're doing and things. Like I said, if you find a guide, then it'll probably be, you know, pretty quick. I mean, you know, three or four hours total. At any rate, if you pick it up, let us know in the comments what you think. And uh, thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And have a great day, everybody.